Hi, I'm Tracy Matthews. I'm the liaison to the Business Advocacy Committee of the Campbell County Chamber of Commerce. This morning I'm here with Ed Sisti. He is running for City Council Ward 3. Good morning, Ed. Good morning, Tracy. So, Good Ed, if here. you would like to give people a brief introduction. Sure. Well, again, I'm Ed Sisti and running for Ward 3, Gillette City Council. Uh, I've been a resident of Gillette since 2005 and moved here from the great state of New Jersey and I learned how not to do politics. So coming to Gillette uh, was a refreshing uh, moment for me to uh, see lower taxes and uh, just the way of life out here. It just uh, it blessed me, it blessed my family. I have a wife, Susan, two children uh, that live in Arizona, both professionals, and uh, I have eight grandchildren. And uh, I'm just happy to be here today for this interview and I thank Gillette Public Access for having me. So first, do you support Penny Power? And if so, are you willing to support that as part of your campaign? Uh, yes, I do support Penny Power and I will make it a part of my campaign. I already have. Uh, I am unequivocally for the optional 1% sales tax because Gillette citizens help to determine where the money goes. Um, since opinions do change though, I would like it to remain optional with annual surveys. Uh, those annual surveys might not need to be as uh, formal as the one, the one that happens every four years, but some type of annual survey to get representation from the citizens on how they would like the monies to be properly spent. Uh, as uh, one of the representatives of Ward 3, it's important to me that I know how my constituents would like to see the money spent. So a large percentage of it would be used for infrastructure since the city of Gillette, I believe, uh, works at a 90% rate uh, for infrastructure for the 1%. And a great example of the proper use of the 1% uh, would be the improvements on Lakeway Road that we're all familiar with. Um, and I, I believe that was a very proper uh, use of funds. And so now and for many, many years to come, the recent improvements will be employed by, uh, enjoyed rather, by Gillette residents. This is a great benefit to having the 1% sales tax and what it really allows our city to do. So we're, we're fortunate to have it. Thank you. So thinking long term, where would you like to see the city of Gillette in 20 years? And what is your plan to bring that vision forward? Well, I have a goal, and my goal is that uh, Gillette and Campbell County would become a haven for new businesses. Understanding, as I do, that half of the assessed valuation of Campbell County comes from the energy industry, and with the recent assault on the energy industry, I'm greatly concerned that funding shortfalls will occur in the future. So my plan encourages attracting new businesses by exercising good stewardship with every tax dollar. Securing new revenue for the city of Gillette must come from new businesses opening here. Continuing sports, tourism, and business will also help. City budgets are up 30% and fees and utilities are up 8.7%. These expenditures must be trimmed and gone through with a fine tooth comb. Our utility bills must be examined constantly and kept low. Our utility bills change. What the city gets charged does change, and so they should change too. And that new business and new employees come to Gillette and they will flourish and thrive. So what policy changes or investments are necessary to encourage broader employment? Well, the policy, policy changes are needed to facilitate broader employment. So number one, all pro proposed expenditures and budgets must be put under the microscope and passed on a need and not on a want basis. In the next step, we must make sure that all city council business is done publicly, except when and only when state statute calls for executive sessions. Advance notice must be given for all city council meetings, and I would like to see major expenditures also uh, expressed to the public and given advance notice. What do you see as the most pressing needs for infrastructure or capital projects in our community? 
Well, with our city funding uh, changing, the maintenance and upkeep for our past capital projects is imperative. And here's why. For new businesses and their employees to come to Gillette, we have to maintain the infrastructure well that we already have. And that will be money well spent. Good examples of our many infrastructure projects are roads and bridges. We need to keep them in good repair and to clear them in a timely manner when the snow falls. In other words, we've got to keep things rolling. Another thing we must provide with diligence in our city services, or is our city services, they help to keep the community safe and like, like police and fire. It would be my priority to keep these properly funded. And just as I do at home, I pay my mortgage first. I would like to see those paid first and uh, make them absolute priority to keep us safe. Thank you. And then what city departments have you been to in the last year and what have you learned about these services? Well, Tracy, in the last year, I've attended most of the city council, county commissioners, and library board meetings. I normally attend these meetings twice per month, uh, but once, uh, once a month for the library board. I often make public comments um, at these meetings, and many times that comment has been acted upon by these boards. Besides in person, I also continuously follow city council and county commissioners in our local news media. Like almost everyone else, I'm an outsider, not an insider. I get my information like everyone else, and I am a taxpayer, and like everyone else, and I see the great importance of fiscal responsibility in city government in Gillette. Thank you. Lastly, Ed, if there's anything that I didn't cover in these questions that you would like the voters of Campbell County to know about you, now is your time. Well, the city's been through a lot in the past uh, year or so. Uh, we uh, discovered this year some interesting things. And I, I would just like to see openness and transparency. I know I covered that, but I'd like to repeat that again. Openness and transparency in the meetings I would also uh, like to see a good emphasis on new business in town. Uh, we had in a, our last uh, city council meeting, a lady that came in and expressed her concern to make Gillette a hub for medical, uh, medical treatment instead of shipping people out to different cities like we do to actually bring them in and uh, to have the helicopters and, and uh, planes fly this way. And I think that's a good thing to hear from our business community about what's going on in town and how we can improve things and listening to the citizens. So I want to thank you all for uh, this interview. And uh, again, I'm Ed Sisti running for Gillette City Council Ward 3. And I humbly, I humbly ask for your vote in the primary election on August 16th and early voting begins on July the 1st. Thank you and God bless Gillette. Mm -hmm.